That was a great video you did, dude. I love that video. Um, on top of that, I just want to uh, add a few, couple more things. A friend of mine has one of those pay-as-you-go phones, and they're starting to send him the factory warranty is up on his car. The funny part about it is he does not own a car. I truly believe that this is our phone company selling our phone numbers, and once our minutes are used up, of course, you know, we got to pay the bill. And people do answer those phones. In these day and age, you don't know who's calling you back. It could be a job prospect. So you answer the phone to find out your warranty is up on your car and you don't own a car. Um, when Singular changed over to AT&T, they told me I had to migrate. And now they're trying to charge me $240 for early cancellation with, with one of the two companies. And I still have my phone company with AT&T, you know, my cell phone, which is still Singular. People still call them the same thing. So it's kind of funny they're trying to fleece me for this money at the same time that the government is calling in all the money that's owed. All these buyouts and everything is totally connected. Everybody is screaming they want their money. And if you ever had a Target card or anything like that, um, and you paid them off for whatever the card you got or even when they send you that free shit in the mail you know new brand new baby born in your family sign up for Gerber health life uh, whatever and they send you a little free couple little toys or whatever and you owe five dollars shipping and handling and they never you never pay it that's gonna come back with interest and all that stuff um, there's no way I can fight this they're charging me all this money, and I call Singular, and they're like, oh, well, it's because you canceled. I'm like, no, I told I had to migrate, and I migrated. Oh, but it's on another bill you had. I'm like, ma'am, did you not understand? I didn't early cancellation, but they're still trying to charge me 200 something dollars, and 160 of it is uh, what I owed. $163 or whatever I owed allegedly $163 because I migrated when they told me to um, people are getting a lot more of these calls about their um, factory warranties row. and it's sad that people who pay minute by minute on these phones are having their minutes chewed up by a phantom menace especially when you don't have a car for the warranty to be void on I've had over a hundred of these calls in the last month and I'm telling these people um, take me off your mailing list take me off your calling list don't call me anymore and they still persist um, a couple of years ago wasn't there a law against people calling your homes and then if you tell them to uh, put, tell them to put you on the no call list and they called you they owed you like two or fifty two hundred fifty some dollars something like that is that what they they, they want to do this with the telephones too um, Give me my $250 for every time they called me after I've asked them not to. I'd appreciate that. That'd be some cool stuff. Here, get what you want out of here, boy. Get up. Here, get it. What do you want? Oh, there's no more toys in here. There's no more toys in there, buddy. So, hey, thanks for your video response, man. And, um, hey, I'm glad it worked out for you when you transferred from your phone companies to the phone companies that they switched you over to and, but some of those people got caught by the wayside and um, screwed over even though I gave them a deposit to have this phone I even got my deposit back which would have covered all this crap thank you for your time man and you've been too